Um, this is the front of the Dolman Power Station. Um, if you see the big gray transformer in the front, that, there was two transformers there. That was the furthest one out. That's a step-up transformer. That took the voltage, uh, electricity from the generator, boosted up to higher level for transmission to, to our customers. Behind it, which is uh, you can't see very well because of the contrast, uh, is a burnt transformer that's uh, almost burnt beyond recognition. There's a transformer that took generator from, or electricity from the output of the generator, fed it back into the plant to feed the plant's own needs. Um, there was a large amount of fire there. Uh, there was basically two fires going, one going inside the plant, one going outside the plant. Um, so this was the external fire. If you look to the top of the building, all that uh, brick is off the walls. Uh, during the initial explosion, it blew all the masonry walls out of the plant. So that all happened, uh, bang, right, right, uh, right when the uh, machinery failed. Um, over on the left-hand side, you could see uh, the truck that we just transferred to the water department. Um, <laughs> that uh, there was a garage door there. That garage door was blown out. Um, landed behind that truck. Um, and on top of the truck, obviously, is uh, a lot of debris that came down from the um, from the walls. This is just a, a close up of that same area. This this you know, let's see a little bit better viewpoint of the transformer that w I said was difficult to see in the last one. Again, there was a lot of fire in this area. Uh, some of the oil; these things are filled with oil to cool them. Um, typically, they're filled uh, nearly to the top with oil, and then on top of that is a small blanket of nitrogen gas to keep it inert um, so it can't, can't burn. There's no oxygen there. Um, obviously, part of the failure uh, had these erupt, exposed it to oxygen, exposed it to an ignition source. So these burn quite a while. Now we're at the other side of the plant looking out where that uh, Brick came off to the north. What you can't see there is the brick. Is there's a lot of damage um, to the rest of the masonry wall. The structural steel, for the most part, is in good condition there. There's some structural steel that's in the roof of the building that supports the roof that is not in good shape. There's places that you cannot be underneath there for safety reasons because until we get that structural steel. Um, repaired. This is at the east end of the Dahlman Unit 1 generator. Um, obviously, this was uh, uh, that generator is a total loss. Close up here, you can see where the skin of the generator has opened up at the very top. It did that on both ends. Um, that's about an inch to an inch and a half thick steel. It's peeled back there. kind of looks like it's peeled back like a pop can here. Uh, we found a piece of that steel about 1,000 feet from the plant after it shot through the roof of the plant. This is um, on the left-hand side there. That is the Dolman 1 generator. You see about 15 feet to the right is a tool trailer. Those are tools that uh, being used by a contractor that was working on Unit 32, which is on outage. There was somebody standing inside there when this blew up. Um, <laughs> Just incredible that uh, all the blast force basically went up and that person walked out of there unscathed. There's a shrapnel hole through the roof. You can see where some steel exited the plant roof. Um, area out where we found pieces of the generator, and you can also see booms out on there. That yellow extending across the lake is an oil-absorbing boom. It's part of the environmental cleanup. Some more oil booms capturing, capturing oil out at the lake. This effort we expect to be done in a week. Um, we feel uh, that that whole effort is going very, very well. The cleanup's gone very, very well. Um, haven't seen any problems with wildlife. Um, haven't had problems with the drinking water. So it's an unfortunate an event like this happens. And um, I hope the EPA feels the same way. But. Uh, Bad things happen. I think uh, the appropriate controls were put in place quickly and made as best of the situ a bad situation as we basically could.